Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with T Game and Tech, and today I bring you guys a video about iOS 6. And it's not going to be an overview of iOS 6. This is going to be uh, maybe a couple series of different things of iOS 6 that are on the iPad. And so this video, I'm going to be covering the App Store in iOS 6. It's a little bit different than the App Store right now in iOS 5. Um, not too many changes, but I'm just going to go over it and show you guys what's new. So we just click the App Store and we open it up and we're going to open up to Featured here. As you can see, right off the bat, we have a kind of a different theme going on. We have a darker theme than what we have in iOS 5. And if I bring my iPhone in, um, this is what the App Store looks like in iOS 5. We have our blue bar up top and we just have our selections down below. Um, the selections really haven't changed down here at the bottom. They do look a little more darker blue, the highlighted tab. Um, but the top bar is now all gray and black and it just looks a little more sleeker in my opinion and they have this cover flow effect now for different apps and different categories and you can just swipe through them and check them out so that is the feature tab and so you can also go up here click books it'll take you to different kind of book apps deal with books business apps just different different kind of themed apps so if we go to the top charts we have our top paid iPad apps, our top free apps, and our top grossing apps. Not too much different here. Um, one new thing that I've realized in the App Store um, in iOS 6 is that if you have an app installed on your device, it actually has the word open now. So I have pages installed and I have penultimate installed. So if I want to actually open pages from the App Store, I actually can. So if I hit open, it is going to open up the, the app pages. And I think that's a pretty cool feature. I'm not sure why you'd be wanting to open an app in your if you're looking through the App Store, but you know if you're browsing, you realize, oh, maybe I didn't know I had that app, or I haven't played that app in a long time. Um, it's easy to get to them when you're in the App Store. So we're just gonna go back. Um, so that's with any app you already have downloaded. I have it also with Penultimate. Just click Penultimate, and it'll open up Penultimate. So if we just go back to the top charts. Um, like I said, normal, install, um, if you already have it, download another device, at device, or if you've already paid for it, you can just hit install. For example, I have Flow Free installed on my iPhone, so if I want to install it, all I do is press install, and it says it's installing after I type in my password. And so now it's installing. And so what you'll notice is that you're not taken away from the app, app store. So if you go back to your home screen, if you can find it, it's actually loading. So that is another good feature that's I've been waiting for a while to have is whenever you download an app, you don't get taken away from the App Store because if you want to download more than one, you have a couple you want to download, you can just download it and then go on your merry way to find your other apps. Genius, I really don't use Genius and it's currently not available on iOS 6 anyways. Purchased, these are just all the apps that you have purchased in the past, some that are not on your iPad and then you can click all to view the ones that all have been on your iPad before. Now this is the update section. Um, this is familiar. Everybody knows how this works. You just update all your apps. Um, you can hit the update all or update one at a time. And if I hit update all, they're all updating right now and installing. Like before, you don't get taken away back to the home screen. You can continue to browse the app store and look at different apps. All, meanwhile, Flow's done. The other apps are updating. One's updating in here, Words with Friends, and the others are updating here. So that's just been a quick overview of the App Store in iOS 6. If you guys like this kind of video and like to see more videos of what iOS 6 looks like on the iPad, go ahead and comment below or give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to check me out on all my social links. They are in the description below. I'm going to be doing a giveaway here when I get to 300 subscribers and I want to incorporate Twitter in that somehow so you're gonna make sure you want to follow me on Twitter um, so that will help you maybe in the giveaway but uh, other than that hope you guys enjoy this video and if you're interested in more tech or game related videos go ahead and subscribe up top other than that thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one